Hello everybody, my name is Tiffany. Welcome back to my channel. I create things that live online and this is one of them. In today's video, we're gonna be going over a coding exam that I had for a back-end developer position. The question comes from HackerRank and I am completing this in Python. So let me read for you the questions so that we're all on the same page about what's being asked here. In this challenge, the REST API contains information about a collection of users and articles they created. Given the threshold value, the goal is to use the API to get to the list of most active authors. Specifically, the list of usernames of users with submission count strictly greater than the given threshold. The list of usernames must be returned in the order the users appear in the results. So let's get coding. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, and subscribe, and I will see you at the end of the video. Okay, right here we have the uh, Hacker Rank API for articles in user, user articles. We start out on page one here, um, and I'm just gonna go through all these properties. I will put a link to this in the description. You can also go and look at this API um, so you can maybe come up with your own questions or just play around with the data that's in here. So there's page, which is the current page of the results which we're at number one. There is per page, which in this case is 10. This is the maximum number of users returned per page. There's total, which is the total number of users on all pages of the result. Total pages, which is the total number of pages with results. So in this case, there's two pages with results. And then you have the data object. So it's an array of objects containing users returned on the requested page. Unique ID, a username, which is a username for the user. It has about, so it has information about the user. Submitted, submitted is the total number of articles submitted by the user. Updated at is the date and time of the last update of this record. Submission count is the number of submitted articles that are approved and comment count is the total number of comments the user has made created at is when the uh, the date and time of when the record was created so i'm just scrolling through here and i'm just showing you that there are 10 records here and then we're going to go to the next page so again same statistics here items per page this except this is page two and we're starting with id 11. Um, which is user ID 11 and we're going all the way to 15 on this one. So there are a total number of three uh, 15 and I'm showing you that if you can go to page three But there's nothing on page three because there's no data there. So to start off We are going to kind of map out what we're gonna do. I'm going to set some variables to start off with and then I'm gonna make a request for each page so each page has data on it for the users that we want to go through. So I'm gonna make a request to that URL, get the data for each user. And then as I'm looping through that, I'm gonna check if submission count is greater than the threshold. And if it is, I'm gonna store it in an array of usernames. And then I'm just gonna return the usernames once I'm finished. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import a couple of things. I'm gonna import requests and I'm gonna import JSON so that I can uh, send, a, get a, send a request and then so that I could also get that data back as a JSON response. And then I'm going to have a usernames array or list. And then I'm gonna have page. We're gonna start at page one. And then I'm gonna have total pages, which I'm gonna start total pages at one as well. I'm gonna uh, have a while loop that checks to see if we're on a page that um, has data on it. We don't want to loop through pages that don't have data on it. I'm gonna create a, a variable here. I had a little bit of trouble naming this variable, not gonna lie, I was like, what do I want this to be? Um, but um, I just kind of went along with API request, seemed to make sense. 
Um, and for here, we're going to use that request that we imported, and we're going to make a get request. The get request is going to allow us to go to a URL and get data. So in that case, it's the URL that I'm copying from above, which later on we'll find out that I did not copy that correctly, but we'll go back through that in a second. Um, and then I'm going to pass in the page because each page, we don't know how many pages this is going to be. So we're just going to pass in the page and then we're going to do articles. We're going to set articles to the JSON object of data that we're going to get back. So if you remember the J, the, the URL from the API, the API had a data object and that's what we want. And then for right now, we're checking if it's the first page, then let's go find out how many pages there actually is that we need to loop through. So we're using API requests and then we're saying, uh, of course, give me the JSON, but give me the total number of pages. The total pages is um, that value that we're looking for. And then we're gonna set the total page value. That's all we're doing there. And then the next thing that we're doing on line 27 is we're going to loop through all of the data for the users. So I've just named this articles. So it's technically not articles though. It's technically user data. So we should probably change that to users. Either way, it's user data. So we're checking if the submission count, well, first of all, we're setting submission count and that is gonna come from each user object has a submission count value. So now we're checking to see if that submission count value is greater than the threshold. If it is, then we want to capture that user name. So we're going to append that particular value for the user, their user's name, to the user's name's array or list that we defined from above. After we've done that, then we want to go to the next page. So all we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, um, increase page by one. So we just want to set page to the next value, which would be two and then three and so on and so forth. And then we're just going to return the usernames. We are saying names equal get usernames. That is me calling the method that I just created called get usernames and I'm passing it a value of 10, which I'm saying, okay, this threshold is gonna be 10. So give me all the users that have a submission count that is greater than 10. And so then I am printing those names, which returns to me the array from our method. It failed um, a couple of reasons. I, add, I have to add a, a plus to concatenate a string and we're doing the plus because we're setting page to a string value instead of an integer value. And then once I run this again, I have the expected output. Hopefully that was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.